Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm here to show you how to use the FBA Amazon Revenue Calculator. Um, so really simple. Um, what it does is it lets you compare uh, the rates, the fees, and uh, your revenue uh, as if you ship products yourself or you use Amazon's uh, fulfillment services. Uh, in short, um, the FBA services um, are a really good idea for a lot of businesses. Um, especially if your prices are, are not in the, the single dollars. Um, basically, I like it because um, you, can use, you can pay Amazon to fulfill um, very cheaply your orders and not have to pay your own employees to do that. And you can save a lot of time and hassle um, and have your employees work on more important things. Uh, so it's a really interesting idea. It works good. Um, Amazon's very reliable. They have very minimal uh, mistakes or, or late deliveries, and it's just a good thing to consider. Okay, great. Um, so what you want to do is this calculator is here to show you, the, again, the difference between you fulfilling and Amazon, and um, it takes it in account that you use FBA while you're selling on Amazon only. So if you're not selling on Amazon, let's say you sell on your website, uh, but you still use FBA, those are a little bit different rates, which you'll actually have to go um, and uh, basically use, use their kind of rates. So you can type in multi-channel fulfillment uh, uh, FBA orders and then do a, a few calculations by yourself. But if you do sell on Amazon, use FBA, there's a simple calculator. If not, you have to calculate yourself. Uh, but it's very, very simple, but it's just there's no web calculator. Okay. So again, this is Amazon Seller Central uh, calculator. So the first thing you need to do is uh, find the product that is in the same category as the product you're selling. So if you're not selling already, find a similar product. If you are, just type in the UPC or the ASAN or uh, the product, and then um, that's the first step. So I, I'm going to do it right here. And the reason you want to do that is because this calculator also shows you the fees that Amazon is going to take if you're selling uh, according to the specific category. So the reason you have to choose the product is because Amazon wants to calculate what is your referral fee, not the FBA fees, but how much you pay if someone sells, if you sell on Amazon and someone buys, how much you pay to Amazon, okay? So typically it's between like, I think like 7% and 25%. Uh, a lot of the categories are about 15% as of today, okay? So this is the product. I just showed a, a random uh, product that I found, just a basketball spalding. Um, so now you have to input all this information here and then in order to calculate. So the, the first one is, um, what is the actual a price that you want to sell this product for? So I'm going to say I want to sell it for $30, and let's say I want to sell a Amazon as well. So if I fulfill, I want to sell it for $30. If I want to ship it uh, with Amazon, let's say $30. So you can change these uh, according to your own uh, rates, but uh, typically it's good to kind of have the same thing. So. Um, you're fulfilling at 30. So let's say my shipping rate was, let's say, 4.95. I would charge for that. Um, and then Amazon wouldn't charge at all, right? So uh, let's say people have Prime or they're just not, it's just not part of the, um, you know, you don't charge any extra for, for, you only charge $30 for the basketball itself, okay? Um, order handling, if you charge any additionals, I, uh, I'm not really charging any additional. Um, you can calculate a, any kind of weight handling or any additional ones or storage in your own uh, warehouse, but right now I'm just going to leave those blank, okay? Um, if you do have a, this is, sorry, um, here you can add your customer service. So for example, if, a, a, um, if you have any a fees that you pay your employees for your customer service or for packing them themselves, it, you can put them in. So this is kind of a better, more accurate calculator to show how much you pay your own employees to, for example, pack the, the package. So let's say, for example, for this, a, this item price is $30 and I charge $4.95, but it, it takes my employee, let's say, um, let's say 10 minutes, okay? It, you know what? It, yeah, so let's say 10 minutes to pack it. My employee gets $10 an hour. So um, let's let's just say, for example, a, it costs my employee or for me to pay my employee uh, one dollar to pack and ship a product so print the labels verify the order put it in a box send it on its way okay so this is kind of my internal cost to do that okay 
Um, and then that's basically it. So I, other than that, um, basically I can click on calculate, okay? So once I click on calculate, it'll start filling in all of this information, okay? So uh, Amazon referral fee, uh, if I don't use a, a if I don't use FBA, it's a little bit higher. If I do use FBA, it's a little bit lower. Um, this is the subtotal. So this is how much the customer would pay, $34.95 and $30. And obviously, if there is shipping, the customer would prefer to pay $30 at the end, right? Um, so that's also something to consider, right, this thing. And uh, this is Amazon's uh, pick and pack in order to, to take it from the shelf, right? Weight handling all of the 30-day the storage in Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, here are all the fulfillment costs, right? It costs us to pay our employee, let's say, $1, which is maybe even too low, but just, just for an example, a dollar. And it costs us $7.88 to pay Amazon for that, right? And uh, minus everything, calculating the fees and all that stuff, the, rev the margin revenue, you can see the difference right here. So $28 versus $17. Okay, uh, so again, you know, in this case, the fulfillment by yourself is much, much more valuable. But um, we have to be more realistic about what you, uh, what your actual internal costs are. So customer service to manage handling or canceling orders or questions about orders, um, those may, you you should calculate those correctly within your company to know. Um, that you are using the calculator correctly okay so you can see kind of sim simple summary a um, bars charts all this information so that's basically the idea estimated monthly sorry one more thing you can use the estimated monthly units sold so you can say based on these fee if i sell about a hundred of these units um and uh, I my monthly sale increases by let's just say it doesn't increase here's our our revenue a uh, our revenue and our margin impact. So that's basically it. really simple, um, very, very useful, and really helping. It, it's a helpful tool to understand if you do want to use fulfillment or not. And I uh, hope that this makes sense. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.